Hey guys, I'm Rose from TMHD, and welcome back to Quick Quips with Steven Seagal. This time, Steven Seagal is black, black, black Dawn. <laughs> Ago, Black Dawn. Black Dawn is, that doesn't really make sense, but this film was released in 2005. It is an action thriller, and it is a it's a masterpiece, masterpiece, the greatest film ever made. Citizen Kane, step aside. A fucking Pulp Fiction, not even close. This film tops all those clearly because he's the one thing the terrorists didn't plan on. Exactly, that's my point right there. And you guys wouldn't, ex you guys, you can't even guess this. You, you're going to be so surprised he's ex-CIA. It's the most shocking thing. I, I never expected that. Like, not even for a second. It's not like he's ex-Spec Ops or ex-CIA in every fucking movie he's in. No. It's a real shocker. Real shocker, guys. Um, also, I'm fucking with you. This movie is dog shit. Um, <laughs> like... I mean, is it the worst Steven Seagal movie I've seen? No, far from it. Is it good? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, it is terrible. Uh, like every other one, frankly, it's after the '90s and the early 2000s. Because even those, even those movies were not great. They were fun, right? They were just fun, dumb, fun action movies, and that's what I want in an action movie most of the time. But this film was lifeless. There was it was boring. It it just was terribly written. The writing was awful. And, like, let me get into that. Like, the writing. There was a point where Steven Seagal, like, insinuated that he worked for the TIA, but he was, like, he had a boss, and he was, like, undercover, or he was, like, in a super secret operation. Right? So you, you expect, like, later on in the movie, he's, like, it's eventually revealed that he's, like, Illuminati, like, super underground branch of the CIA where he's, like, still working for them, but he's, like, super secret. And, like, nobody else in the CIA knows it except for the super secret people, the who, super higher-ups. No. They never expand on it. They never do anything with it. Maybe I wasn't paying attention enough, but I am 90% certain that they did not do anything with that plot or subplot or whatever it was. And it, it just, it's a detail that was unnecessary. I know I'll fucking mention it almost in every review, but Chekhov's gun. If you're gonna, if you're gonna mention something that's a detail that seems like it's gonna come back later and you do nothing with it, what's the fucking point of you even mentioning it in the first place? If you're not gonna, like, expand on him being, like, a super secret CIA operative, then why did you add it? To make him look cool? Is that why? Probably. <laughs> Because Steven thinks he's the shits, but really he just has shits because he's fat. And it's like, I don't know, okay? This film, I don't know, maybe I'm exerting too much energy for whatever the fuck this film was. Maybe. But I'm just saying that this film is bad. And there's another thing about it that I want to mention is there was a guy, there was like, there's a girl in the movie. I can't even, I don't even remember her name. I don't even, I don't even know if they even mentioned her name in the movie. Maybe I wasn't paying attention enough because it's a shitty Steven Seagal movie, but she, she had a partner at the beginning of the movie, right? And she's like spying on Steven because Steven like works for the bad guys at first and he doesn't work for the bad guys and he, and he works with the girl and then they stop like some Russian terrorists who are trying to plant like a nuke. And he was like, is it like New York or whatever? No, it's a city. I don't, it doesn't matter what city it is. It's a city. Uh, and then he stops the evil terrorists and then he like hooks up with this girl, even though they barely had any chemistry throughout the entire film, but whatever. Uh, but anyway, she had a partner at the beginning of the movie and this guy was like the guy in the chair, right? Like he's like that character and he doesn't do very much and then he dies, right? Uh, he's only really there to, uh, like, add drama when he dies, because, like, one of the central characters, like, someone close to them gets killed. Um, like, he doesn't, I mean, he does, like, one thing, and that's it. Um, then, bang, he's dead. 
But then, later on in the movie, Steven's looking for information on the bad guys, right? And he goes to this random fucking hacker guy that he never mentions before that I can remember. He goes to this hacker guy that he never fucking mentions, goes to him, talks to him, gets all the information, and then leaves. And we never see that character again. Never again. What was the point? You could have just had the guy in the chair from earlier do that, but you killed him. And maybe, I think this would be funny, I don't know, this is just like a conspiracy theory, I know I have no evidence of this, but it's a theory. Maybe midway through writing the movie, they realized, oh shit, we need a guy in the chair character, but we already wrote this character to die. And instead of rewriting it so that he doesn't die, they're just like, fuck it, let's add a completely new character that was never established before, add him to the movie, have him have one scene, or like, yeah, basically one scene, he doesn't appear at all after that. And then have him in the movie for like 10 minutes and then bang, he's gone. That's what, like, the, it's so bad. The writing is so bad. Like, it's, he's a plot device. A literal plot device. He's not even a character. Like, Steven, like, acts like he knows him. How? How do you know this man, Steven? Where did you know this man? You never mentioned him before. It's so fucking weird. Like, stuff like that happens in these kind of movies. It's like they live they live in a bubble. They live in their own world. You know, it's fucking... It's weird. It's weird. I... I don't like it. I don't like it. And, frankly... This movie just... This movie's just not entertaining. In the slightest. It's just boring. You know what I mean? Like, most of his films... And, to, and another thing, the villains are terrible. They're terrible. So you have long-haired beard guy. Long-haired beard guy. And I thought, is it Donovan or whatever the fuck his name is? I thought he was the main villain of the movie. Because him and Steven have a bit of a rivalry at the beginning. Nope. Steven just chops him in the neck and he's gone. That's it. Bye guys, I'm out of the movie. <laughs> That's it. Bop, boop, Aikido bullshit, and he's out. Doesn't even kill him. Just knocks his ass out, and that's that's it. And, the, like, the real villain of the movie is this, like, corrupt agent that has, like, three scenes in the movie. What it... I don't even... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go insane. You established villain! I talked about this before. The same fucking thing. Actually, the same fucking thing has happened before. Where they, they have a villain that they could use. They don't. And then they have another guy who does nothing that the entire movie be the main villain. And then he just dies. They just kill him. Unceremoniously. They just shoot him. Like, it's an action movie. With the big bad villain, you're supposed to have, like, a big, big, like, shootout. They're supposed to go down in, like, a blaze of glory. They just shoot him. Like, he doesn't even do anything. He's like, you know, uh, whatever, what does he say? He's like, you know, if you, if you shoot me, I will, I will press this button no matter what. And they shoot him and he presses the button. <laughs> like, usually when a villain threatens to do that, the heroes don't just shoot him. They usually like, okay, but you better, you better not. Like, the cliche action stuff, right? But they don't. They literally just fucking shoot him. And then before that, there were these Russian terrorists that are trying, that are planning the bomb. And they're like, they're throughout the movie, but they're, they're throughout the movie, but they're not much better. I mean, they don't have characters. I mean, they're, we don't even really get to know who they are. They're kind of generic. And again, they die unceremoniously as well. They just get shot. Like, immediately they get killed by the evil, corrupt guy. And then, because then I think he reveals, like, I think, like, their terrorist movement was created by him, I think. And he's like, ooh, I was the puppeteer doing all these things. And it's like, what? Like, you, you haven't been in the movie for, like, an hour, dude. You haven't been in the movie for, like, 40 minutes. Why, why is that the twist? Is the audience was like, oh my god, the guy that I haven't seen in 40 minutes is the, is the guy who created the, the Russian terrorist movement. Like, why am I supposed to care? I don't understand. 
I don't understand. And it's like, as I said, the Russians aren't much better. And they just, they're just often, I don't know. The villains are terrible. So they're heroes. Because Steven is Steven. He's, ex he's every other character. I'm surprised he didn't wear as much leather this time. I don't think he wore any leather. That's, that's a first. But he did wear a lot of suit and ties for some reason. He's a, he's a mob boss or something. I don't know. He just wore a lot of suits for some reason. Um, then, yeah. Maybe he did wear leather. But from what I remember, he didn't. I don't remember him wearing any leather. Which... But yeah, um, overall, really terrible movie. Not the worst of all time, but definitely not good and definitely not something I would recommend. Would I recommend this movie? I just said, no, I would not recommend this movie. Um, and overall, I think, uh, let's get to the ratings. So overall, probably like a, like a three. Steven Seagal, probably a four and ironic, like a like a four as well. You can laugh at a couple things, but it's like most Steven movies where you laugh at it at the beginning, but then the second half kicks in. It's like, oh my God, please <laughs> free, free me from this hell, right? That's basically what happens in the second half. The first half you're laughing at, the second half you just want it to end. So yeah, let's do that again. Uh, real movie rating, three. Steven, four, and ironic, four. So... Yeah, I think I was saying to say, I think I'm saying my piece. So, guys, I hope you like this video. Share your friends, subscribe to the notifications on, comment below if you liked it. And this has been Quick Whips with Steven Seagal. Signing off. Jesus Christ, it's Steven Seagal. I can't believe, by the way, I can't believe they fucking use that in this movie. I can't because they did it. There is a part of the movie. I know I'm going on a bit of a rant here and this is the end of the video, but I don't care. There is a part in the movie where they're like, she's watching Steven from like a window or something. And like, she goes, Jesus Christ. And after she says that, I go, it's Jason Bourne. And she goes, it's Jonathan Cold right as I say that. And I'm like, oh my fucking God, the writing is so bad. <laughs> like, if I can predict your shitty writing and not even try, I was just joking around. That is not good. That is not good.